Hello everyone. This is a little bit of a first for me. Um, usually I put music to my videos. I uh, just thought I would do something different in this video and share more of my process for making a piece of slow stitch. Um, so there'll be no music with this video and I'll do a little bit of talking um, and just sharing really my thoughts and feelings about what I'm doing. Um, the project that I'm starting, I've no real plan for it. And so basically I'm just sort of going with the flow, seeing what I feel like doing. Um, so my approach really is <laughs> no plan. Um, no formal design for the end product um, it's just seeing where it takes me really so I hope you enjoy this style of video please bear with me there might be a few ums and ahs as we're going along um, but hopefully as I say you'll enjoy seeing my process for making a piece of textile art and um, yeah so enjoy Today I'm starting a new slow stitch project, project and I've decided to use a vintage table runner which I inherited from my late grandparents. Um, I had a choice of two and I've decided I'm going to use this one um, because it's a, the smaller of the two. It's a narrower and shorter so I thought I'll try with this one first and I can always use the other one um, the next time and I quite like the pattern on this one so I've decided to go for this one and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put a backing on it of well I, we call it bump um, it's but it's like a batting or a, a thin wadding um, just to give it a little bit of substance because it's obviously it's only thin cotton so um, I want something that I'm going to be able to stitch into that gives it a little bit of uh, more substance okay so I've cut my length of batting and I've actually done it in two pieces because it's so long I haven't got a long enough piece of uh, batting so I'll finish off there and I'll show you when I've got it all pinned in place ready for stitching okay so I've now finished pinning everything together I've got the batting on the back all pinned in place and I'm gonna just tack that down so that I can take the pins out so that they're not going to get in my way while I'm stitching but while I'm here I just wanted to show you as I was pinning it in place um, I've noticed that there are actually some holes in the table runner um, but I'm not bothered about that that just shows its age let me see there's another bit that's right there's another bit there tiny bit but I will work with those I'll either put something underneath them or just stitch around them somehow I'm not sure yet but as I say I'm not too bothered about those holes and also these threads it ju it's just showing its age basically and also it's been a used item I mean there's little little stains on there I don't know whether that's some paint or something that's on there how that's got on there I don't know but that's the whole point um, there's another little stain there but as I say it's been used so I'm quite happy to have those little defects if you like but not really defects okay so I'm gonna go and 
tack it into place. So I've made a start with my stitching and as you can see I'm just starting by using the pattern that's already on the table runner and then just doing a running stitch just around the pattern in a very pale, very, very <laughs> pale blue embroidery thread. So you can hardly see it, it looks almost white but it is actually like a, a very ice blue thread. But I'm liking the effect. So I'm going to continue that with the rest of the pattern and we'll see how we get on. So I've stitched all around that section as you can see, um, all the clover leaves and I've also done this bit down here. And I'm just starting to do this ribbon and I'm using the sort of like a very light coloured rose. I'm just starting to stitch that around the edges of the bow. So that's my progress so far. Um, I've got that side and then there's the other side that I've done so there again it's the same on both sides so I've embossed that as well and that one there so I shall continue with the light pink colour on the ribbon and I'll do the same on this side as well I'll give you a little bit of a close-up on them as well. 